Hi, I'm Kurt Lutz, and I'm the Data Integration Manager here at One Energy. Today, I'm helping field engineers Darshan Beausoleil and Kevin Paget deploy one of our LiDARs for research and development purposes. A LiDAR is a remote sensing instrument used to measure wind speed and directions at multiple elevations. The LiDARs we use send laser beams into the sky at varying heights that range from about 100 feet to 475 feet up to collect those measurements. The laser beam hits particles and aerosols in the air and gets bounced back to the unit. And from that information, we can determine the wind speed and direction. Today, we're going to deploy a LiDAR to collect some data that we'll use to see if our wind turbines are performing how the turbine manufacturer initially said they would. Typically, we send a LiDAR to a potential client site to collect wind data measurements used in the energy yield assessments for our wind for industry projects. Currently, we have three of our four LiDARs out on the weather pad available for deployment. In the coming months, we will be deploying two of the LiDAR units to potential customer sites to collect data. The third unit has a couple of months before we send it out for data collection, so we're going to use this opportunity to conduct some R&D here at the North Finley Wind Campus. We've already confirmed that this LiDAR is measuring data the same as our MetPole instrumentation and that the correlation is good so we're confident it's calibrated correctly and that it's ready to go out and do its thing. For this study, we're looking to see how well the manufacturer provided power curve matches up to the real power curve that we're seeing in some of One Energy's operational turbines. Essentially, these power curves are the relationship between what the wind speed is and how much power the turbine is outputting. So we're going to collect wind speed data with the LiDAR and then compare it to the power output of the turbines. This study is going to help us better understand how the turbines are performing after installation. We can later use that information to better model our energy yield estimates. The power curve study is standard within the wind industry and the details of how everything needs to be done are laid out pretty explicitly within some of the International Electrotechnical Commission or IEC standards. We have a set amount of data we need to make sure we're collecting which will probably take three to four months. We also need to consider things like maintaining a specific distance away from the operating turbines. That's why it's important that we put the LiDAR in a specific set of coordinates during this deployment. Uh, the is 347. Confirm finally. Can you just try using the Viper? Yep. Okay. Yes. Nice. Okay. That goes. Cool. Thank you, bro. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Perfect. Bye. Uh, so I'm just gonna mark out the extension cord that we have going out to the lighter, just so that in the summer when we're mowing this lawn, people know where the cord is and we can avoid it. Finally, once we've determined that we've collected enough data. We will go back out, pick up the LiDAR, and bring it back to its pad. Once on the pad, we'll make sure it's still measuring the same as the net pole instrumentation. We will then analyze the data and put together a white paper report that we'll be able to reference within our future energy yield estimates. After that, it's off to the next site to collect more data.